What is up guys, Winter Kills here and welcome back to another DDD deck profile. It is post Zodiac, not post, we're still in Zodiac format. Who knows for how much longer, but we are in Zodiac format. So I figured, uh, figured we, uh, we get a new profile up for that format. I've definitely changed up the build a little bit and I do have an OTS that I have the option of going to. It's only like an hour and a half away, so it's very, very close compared to other things. Um other events um but i probably won't go to it just because like i still don't have the ideal uh cards that i would need i don't have anything to, i don't have like cards to borrow from people either um but yeah either way we'll get into the we'll get into the deck profile um and uh we'll start with the monsters as per usual we got three ddd oblivion king obvious ragnarok uh one of your best combo pieces uh level eight three thousand defense 200 attack uh standard uh, three Swirl, two Necro. This might seem a little bit foreign uh, to some people, but I, I like it. I've given it a, lo a long enough chance to play the 3-2 uh, ratio, and I've never had a problem with it. Never had a problem with it being like, oh, I don't open up Necro sign enough because you really just want to open this. Um, you know, fusioning with this and this isn't always the best. Sometimes you'd rather fusion with this in a Lamia and then foolish this off like a Copernicus or something that you revive off this engrave or, well, summon out of your hand from this engrave, if you know what I mean. Um, I, I'm a fan of the 3-2 ratio right now. I don't really see any need to change it either. Um, more staples, we've got three Kepler, uh, three Lamia, of course, three Copernicus, and the double Thomas. And that wraps up the DDD lima, lineup. Um, pretty standard, minus, you know, the, uh, the two Necro might not seem very standard, but for me, I, I, I like the two Necro slime. Um, totally acceptable to play at three though. Uh, we got double max C and double ghost ogre. And this is basically the, one of the bigger changes that I made. I never really main, um, hand traps before because like, I just need it. And I thought like, you know, going first deck, don't really want to play hand traps, especially max C, but I feel like you have to play it. There's so many other decks that want to go first. So if you lose the dice roll, you're going to want to have these cards. Um, cause the dice roll, this format whether you like it or not, decides a lot about how your game is going to go. The dice roll decides a lot, and it's all 50-50 uh, chance. But um, I like the double Ogre and the double Maxi, uh, some of the best hand traps that are currently available. Uh, and then the last two monsters are double uh, Radian. Uh, I'm not playing Gamma Steel, obviously, because this is a dark, so it's an alert target, uh, pretty standard uh, DDD card choice as far as kaijus go. Uh, next we have spells, and this is kind of a tribute to the part of why I'm not going to the OTS. Um, basically, I I kind of do want to try Desires in this deck, but I just have no way to get a hold of them at the moment. I'll probably be able to purchase them in the future because they seem to be on a decline in price, which is nice. I think they're like 55 60 a copy. Um, a decline in price sounds good to me, um, but... Probably I'd like to play two allure and then cut this and something else for two desires. Um, triple dark contract and the Swamp King. Uh, I like that split a lot, the 3-1. Double twin twister, uh, foolish, one for one, and I'm hopping on the train. Uh, my body is a shield. Um, the one of, I'd probably play two, but I was lucky my, my brother was able to find like four of these lying around in the commons and I was able to get one off them. Um, I wouldn't play more than two, honestly. But, like, DDD has such a hard time maintaining a board, especially when there's so many board wipes that are being played right now. Dark Hole, Raigeki, mainly Kaiju Slumber. Um, and this card helps to protect your field. Like, your Crystal Wing loses to Raigeki and stuff. Um, and this helps, obviously, prevent that and other things. Um, and the Slumber, the dreaded Slumber play. Uh, so, good, good card. I definitely think it's a good card. Um, and then my traps, ideally, would be... This is what I'm playing right now. We've got... The Avertissement Divin, Divine, whatever, uh, Solemn Strike and the Emptiness. Um, probably be 2-Strike, two 2-D two Barrier, Warning, and Emptiness. I don't know what I'd cut in the main, but I feel like um, for me to have a chance at like really winning in this format, especially with the Dolan's going to be available, Wind Witchy Dolan and Full Force Zodiac, um, I'm not going to lie, they're amazing decks. Does DDD have a chance to beat them? Yes. Um, but it's not always going to be 100% guarantee, uh, like, you know, it's an easy matchup. It's going to be a tough matchup, to say the least. Um, 
it all depends on who gets to go first, who opens up better, who has the right hand traps, who has the better traps that are set. I think double D bear, double strike, um, and you know other stuff that I said earlier would definitely help give me a chance. Um, but I, I don't want to go drive, uh, you know, like an hour and a half out there, spend the whole day there, my whole Saturday, and just do poorly and have it just be a waste of a day. Um, I'm sure most of you understand, but like I say, I don't have a guaranteed. Uh, shot at doing completely well with the cards that I have available at the moment. So right now we're going to the extract. We got Duo Dunk and Cal Yuga. We got number 38, uh, Synchros, Trish, um, uh, Crystal Wing, uh, Siegfried, Omega, Alexander, Meteor Burst, Stardust Charge, and your boy Formula Synchron. Uh, pardon me for a second while I look into my binder because I did actually get a uh this card right here i did get one of these um because a lot of you guys have been telling me i should get this card to like side or cut trish which tonight i am going to a locals i might just play it like this and just play these in general you know what you know what? we're making a live switch ladies and gentlemen you won't see this in any other profile i guarantee it only here on the Winter Kills channel. I'm, I'm just kidding, um, but yeah, I think I think I'll play the Christian Phoenix. Um, why not? We'll give it we'll give it a try. Something new, and then the fusions double Genghis, uh, standard this this and this. The only thing I would change is probably either cutting this for a second Yark or a third Genghis. Um, if the new rank six was out, I'd probably play three Genghis because the new rank six DDD we're getting in the future. Um, it's going to be pretty awesome as well as the executive Alexander and the a executive Genghis I'm really pumped for those cards. I'm definitely gonna play those. It's a level 10 synchro for the Alexander and I think it's a level 8 fusion for your boy here, so I'm really hyped for those cards to come. I'm not sure exactly when they're coming out, but um, I'm pumped for those cards. I think it'll definitely give this deck a little a little boost um, But yeah, that's pretty much it for the extra deck Um Totally forgot I had the Christian Phoenix to, to put in here. So for the side deck, um, it's not too innovative. Uh, three three Gamma Seal, two DD Crow for the mirror match. Uh, I guess this helps out against Zodiac a little bit, but not a whole lot. Flying Sea, I know this is not the best card because they can slumber it away or they can use Barrage to get rid of it. It's all about, I feel like this can be a good card. You just have to time it correctly. Um, and what I mean by that is like, obviously don't, throw this in the first portion of their turn, wait till they use the barrage, and then if they're already investing deep into a, a pretty decent field, dropping this on them won't, um, like, it won't hurt as bad for them to use Slumber to get rid of it, because they'll have to get rid of all their other stuff, so them using Slumber to clear it, it's not too, like, big of a deal if they've already, like, halfway through their play. Um, it's sort of like dropping Maxi halfway through a Synchro Fusion this turn, um, they want you to drop it at the beginning, but as soon as you do it in the middle, uh, it kind of screws up their whole whole play. That's I, I, that's why I will give this card a chance. Uh, double Chalice, um, phenomenal card. Double Book of Eclipse uh, doesn't lose to uh, Starlight Road and uh, my body is a shield. Uh, then I'm also citing the third Twin Twister, Dark Hole Raigeki for other decks, and the one full Force Virus because this card is really really good against Zodiac. Um, it hits pretty much all the monsters that they play. I'm pretty sure every card in their deck, uh, monster-wise, even Terror Top Engine, uh, will get hit out of their hand by the uh, Full Force Virus. I probably side three. I just don't have three. I think it's a really, really good card in this deck, and I think it gives it a huge boost against Zodiac. Um, but I'll probably try and pick up more tonight. I'll let you guys know in the next video um, or anything you know, commentary, I'll kind of give you guys an up-to-date on that. So yeah, that's it for my DDD deck profile post-Zodiac format. Um, if you don't have Christian Phoenix, you can still play the Trish. It doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Give me your feedback down in the comment section below. Um, always willing to hear the feedback, uh, so long as it's not ignorant. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. As always, Winter Kill signing out. We'll see you in the next one.